today we are throwing it way back. I am doing another show challenge. I haven't done this in a long, long time. So I'm really excited to be bringing it back. So if you don't know what a shell challenge is, basically I'm going to create the shell of a house in The Sims 4 and then leave it up to you guys to turn it into whatever you want. The only rule is you cannot change the exterior walls, like the position of them. You can't move them around. So here is the shell that I have created. This is the front. Here is the side on this side. Here is the back. Here is the side. So you can turn this into whatever you want. The only thing you cannot do is with these exterior walls, you cannot modify them, you can't move them. None of that, can't do that. That's the only thing you can't do. As far as the inside, do whatever you want. As far as like what, how to decorate the outside, do whatever you want. I believe this is the fifth shell challenge. So if you want to participate, when you upload your finished shell build onto the gallery, use the hashtag VicShella5. So that way I can find it and review it and check them all out. So my origin ID is just Vixella. If you go to the gallery and you go to EA account ID, type in Vixella, you will see all of my builds. If you click on my name, you can go to view catalog and see everything that I've posted. So the shell should be right at the top. But now I am going to take on my own shell challenge. I am going to decorate it the way that I want to and I'll show you how it comes out. Enjoy. Okay, so I really loved the outside shape of this house. Okay, I was like, yes, this is so cute. This is so my style. And then we get into the inside. And then we go inside. And I just fell apart. <laughs> I have a serious problem. I actually need to like, I need to take a class or something on how to make floor plans. Seriously, this, I, there is nowhere else that I struggle as hard as making a floor plan. It's like a freaking art. I cannot figure it out for the life of me. I don't know what's wrong with me every single time. And then I look at other people's like houses when I import them from the gallery and stuff. And I'm like, this is so good. <laughs> like what is wrong with me? And it's been a reoccurring theme. It has, because I was looking through my old builds the other day on the gallery. And I was looking at some old ones. I had some, back in the day when the Sims 4 was fresh and new, the gallery was popping. A lot of those, older build that I did way back in the day, got like a, a lot of downloads, okay? And so I was looking at like the most popular ones and I was like, huh, I'm sort of embarrassed. Like, <laughs> cause like, so, like the outside of most of them I think are pretty cute, but the floor plans are crazy. Like they're crazy. They're giving EA like way too big. You know what I mean? Like it's giving too much empty space. And like, I, there was one point, one of those houses had like this crazy, I mean, it was literally a huge kitchen. It must've had like 50 cabinets. And I was like, I didn't think maybe to like make it smaller, separate it. No, <laughs> that wasn't, that, w that never crossed the noggin. I don't know, but here's me in here struggling. I mean, it's gonna take me a long time before I figure out what to do. I don't get it. I can't wait to see what y'all do because I couldn't figure it out. So now I'm leaving it up to you to figure it out. You do it. <laughs> no, I mean, the, the beauty of a shell challenge is that a lot of times people come up with things that I literally never would have even thought of. And it's just because people like see things differently. It's just really cool. When I've done shell challenges in the past, which it has been a long time since I've done one, but I think I've done what four. I think this is the fifth one. Um, they are, they surprise me every time. Like it surprises me because when I look at it, I see a specific thing. But then when you guys do it, you always come up with something so different to what I ever imagined. And it's really fun to watch. And it's really cool to like go back and review them all. I think it's really cool. Um, anyways, enough blabbering about that. Uh, so anyways, this is when I've kind of got the floor plan set up. Now, originally, on the left side there with the room is like really long. That was going to be a kitchen and a dining room. Okay. It's some somewhere along the way, it got messed up. Like it, it's, it changed and it flipped. I think this is when I see, you see how I'm doing a lot of thinking? Yep, this is, <laughs> this is when it happened. You see me start putting stuff down like, because then I was like, where's the living room gonna go? And you'll see me in a second try to figure this out too, because the couch doesn't fit in this side. Like these rooms are just too small to have like fireplaces 
and a couch. Uh, and I was trying to like take away arches and it was just the way that I did this layout is a little bit funky. There's definitely a better way to have done this, but my mind really works symmetrically. And maybe that's my fault for building like a pretty symmetrical house. I didn't even realize I did. Um, but I think that's just how my brain works. I was actually trying to make it not symmetrical. And I think in doing that, I sort of still made it symmetrical. Like it doesn't really look like it from the outside. But the inside is like fully symmetrical. So weird. Like how did I end up doing that? Like I was trying to not do that. I don't know, I have a problem. I like symmetry, but I'm trying to stop because most houses are not symmetrical. They're not. And like, that's good because I think if it was, you'd be seeing the same thing flipped on both sides and you'd be bored out of your mind. So I need to stop doing that. I need to stop doing that. I need to get away from that part of my brain. Um, anyways, of course, windows. This wasn't like a too big of a struggle. Cause I mean like, you can sort of imagine where the windows are gonna go here. Like it pretty much, the way I've done it, it like sets it up for you. Um, oh, you know what's interesting? Sometimes people will rotate the shell. Um, which is always like, that's a good idea. <laughs> like if you look at it and you're like, okay, I've got this box. Now what am I gonna do with it? And you go, what if I flipped it? And then you flip it and you see something totally different and something more along your style of like what you plan to do. Very interesting. Sometimes uh, in the past when I've looked at shell challenges that you guys have done, like, like shell challenges of mine that you guys have built on, I'm always so like, oh, they rotated it. Like a lot of people will rotate them, which is interesting. I never thought about that. I mean, technically, I guess you can, as long as you're not touching the walls and like moving rooms around and stuff like that. As long as you're not messing with the exterior walls in any way. I don't see why you couldn't rotate it. What? I mean, that could be the front. That was almost the front. That side piece there, I almost made that the front. It would have been a totally different house if I did. But I liked the way that it looked on the outside. See, I'm like so in love with the way that the outside looks. I'm so disappointed with the inside. Like, I think furnishing wise, it's fine. Like, I think it's fine. But I think it could have been better. I'm also really critical of myself. I feel like we all are, we're all our own worst critics, you know the saying, but I was just like really struggling to figure out how I was gonna do this. Cause I wanted like proper bedrooms and stuff, but like the staircase ended up in the middle of the room upstairs. And like, that was kind of in the way, you know? And then like downstairs, I didn't have a whole lot of room. I'm sure there is a better way to do this, but I mean, it's not a very big shell. Um, I typically like to work with smaller ones. I don't know. Sometimes I find that if the house is too big in The Sims, I get a little overwhelmed. Cause I'm like, where are my Sims? <laughs> where are they? <laughs> it's like, it's how I imagine living like a freaking McMansion feels is that you're like, oh, like you're in your bedroom and you're like, I'm so hungry. But you're like, but the kitchen's like two miles away. By the time I get there, I will have died of starvation. That's how I feel. Actually, sometimes that's how it is in The Sims. Literally, if the house is too big, by the time they get to the fridge, they might die of starvation. That's actually, that's the truth. They're really living the truth out there. That's kind of funny. That's kind of funny. But uh, that's actually how I feel like in real life sometimes. I feel like a house can be too big. Uh, and I agree with it in The Sims as well. And that's why I laugh at my old builds because they are huge. I was like, that was in my early days of being a builder. And so I was really like, felt like I needed to go big or go home. And some of those houses are just, <laughs> just make me laugh. Like the inside of them are just, they just make no sense. <laughs> and it doesn't look like much has changed here, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't look like much has changed, except they've gotten a lot smaller. Cause I'm like, well, decorating a smaller house is easier. You don't have to think as much. And it is a little more cozy and it's cute. And per personally, there's like a nice middle ground of a good size, you know? There's like starter, actually, you know what? A lot of starter homes in this game can be really nice. Especially if you like dip your toes in a debug, you can get a lot of stuff for free. And then we're cooking. Then we're cooking right there. Because then you can get all sorts of stuff. You can like landscape and stuff. No pro, this is the first time I'm lining up the house. Dude, how long have I been recording? You can't even see my watch. <laughs> I literally, this is when I, look, I redid this whole thing. Cause I was like, I can't stand it. There's no room upstairs. I couldn't even fit like a bed in that room. So I had to extend it. 
I was like, this was driving me crazy. And then I ended up just making that room over there one room. And then I think I added a bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom ended up being bigger, but if I made the bathroom any smaller, then the bedroom was just like a really, really weird shape. That didn't make any sense. I mean, granted, they don't really make sense anyways, but it was even weirder. And this is, here's me trying to like redo the arches. I don't know why I didn't just leave it open. I think I was looking for more wall space, but because there was arches, there wasn't really much wall space anyways. So I probably didn't need those. I'll be honest with you, I probably didn't need them. And I didn't really want to do uh, like a like a raised foundation. I don't know why. Lately, that hasn't been as much of my jam. Now, okay, back in the day, I refused. I refused to build a house that wasn't up on a foundation. Because I do think it is cute to have like, you know, your little porch and your little staircase that goes up to the house. I think it's very charming and I think it's very cute. But lately, something's been going on in this noggin where I'm feeling the opposite way. I don't know. There's something about it being on the ground that I like too. Anyways, here, oh, we are not even gonna talk about the landscaping. Two things I gotta work on, two things. Write these down. Floor plans, landscaping. Girl, cause like what the heck is going on? I mean, it's not like the worst thing ever, but like, you know, like, Lord, I've seen what you've done for others in terms of Sims landscaping skills. It's my turn. <laughs> Please bless me. I need help. Like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just struggle. I just don't, I can never figure out what looks good. I can't be the only one who struggles with this. I know some of you out there probably feel my pain. Uh, it's just hard. It's just tricky. I'm not a landscaper. How the hell should I know what to do? Anyways. Um... But yeah, so honestly, I'm pretty happy with the outside of this house. I actually think it came out super cute and it's very me. This is very my style. It's giving like, mm, it's got like some cottagey vibes. I like the like really tall pointed roofs. I forget, and I know they have a name, but I can't remember it right now. Um, I like, because like if you stretch them up, they get like skinny and then they look very like cottagey. So cute. I just love that look. There is a house in a, in a neighborhood that I like. And it sort of looks like this, but it's like a freaking McMansion, okay? This thing is huge. So it's like this, but like double. And it is it is the my favorite house I've ever seen in my life. Maybe I'll try to recreate it or something. Um, and it is like, I mean, it's stunning. And it looks very cottagey. It's very, it's like a modern cottage sort of vibe. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys just have to believe me. It is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Um, I would love to try to recreate it. I don't know the address though. So I don't know how I would find it unless I went and took a picture of their house, which I don't know about that. It's a little creepy. Um, but maybe I could find something similar to it. Girl, I'm just gonna go on Pinterest. I'm going on Pinterest. Now, okay, so something I do a lot when I'm building houses for like challenges or something, um, cause typically I'm not trying to like think about the floor plan as much as I am thinking about like the challenge. So like when I do like a, the Sims 4, but every room is a different blank challenge. I'm not really focused on like where the rooms are placed or what the flow of the house is. I'm just mostly focused on like, is there designated spaces for me to do each? section, you know what I mean? So what I'll do is I'll go on Pinterest or they have like floor plan websites where you can like purchase floor plans, but you can look at them for free. So I'll go on there and like find floor plans that I think look good or would work good for that challenge. And then let's like recreate it. And then I'll just do the outside however I want. Um, Cause for me, I don't really struggle with the outside as much as I do the inside. So if I don't want to think about it, I just look something up. There's no shame in that. There's no shame. I think recreating houses off of like Pinterest or those floor plan websites are, it's like such a good idea because then you know, at least they'll be like realistic looking on the inside or just do the best you can. Cause a lot of them have like a bunch of storage closets and stuff like that. And I'm like, yeah, I always skip that. Cause I'm like, what am I gonna do with that in the Sims? They don't use storage closets. I really wish we had cars. <laughs> sorry, sorry, hold on, I'm getting off track. But like seriously, and not even for the car aspect. I don't even really care. I just want garages. I want garages. I want a fixer upper car, like in The Sims 3, and a garage. That's all a girl wants. I just wanna be able to build houses with garages. Now I know you can, you can like fake it, but I, re I would just love like a functional one, like a proper garage. 
I just I just think it would it would so nice because I mean like most well at least where I live most houses here have garages attached because we drive and I just think that that would be so cute to have like as an option you know I just think it would be fun I don't know if it's ever gonna happen though I mean listen we're like 10 years into this game and there still are no cars my hopes of there ever being cars in this game they're pretty much gone like, I don't think it's gonna happen. I actually really don't think it's gonna happen. But, um, I kinda wish it would. Or at least, uh, I don't know. I was gonna say, like, at least put in garages, but if they put in garages and no cars, I mean, people would be like, <laughs> including me. I probably would also be like, why? <laughs> They're gonna be like, well, we watched your video. No, you didn't. Sorry, what the hell am I talking about? Anyways. Whenever I look at houses on the gallery and I see they've got like some sort of makeshift garage thing going on with like, you can find like debug cars and stuff like that and put them in there. Um, they always look so good. They literally look so good. It looks so realistic. And I'm always like, man, I gotta learn how to like do that. I gotta figure it out. I think a good thing to do if you're looking for like build tips, this has like helped me a lot in the past, is to download a house off of the gallery that you really like and sort of dissect it a little bit. So see how they did things, look at like how they made the garage. What did they use to make it? Was it debug items? You know, was it just a certain technique? Was it like a certain wallpaper and like columns and stuff? Cause that's how I used to do it. I think there's, there's literally an item. I forget where it's, is it city living? I can't remember. There's an item that has, it's basically like a garage. You could sort of maybe use that. I don't know. There's, I've seen all sorts of different ways people do it. It's very interesting how um, creative we get when we don't have the things we need. Mm? Yeah, look at the shoe, babes. Put in cars, do it. All that, literally all they're gonna do is just go back up, drive off the lot and disappear. But I mean, that's what they did in The Sims 2. And I'm not complaining. Although I would like a, I would like an open world. <laughs> what is this video turning into? What the, am I talking about? God, this is what happens when you don't do speed builds for a while. You just don't even know what to like. I'm not, what, I haven't even talked about this build, but like one time. Like, where am I, babe? Mentally, shh, wait. I'm not in the room. <laughs> I can't even, I can't focus. Okay, well anyways, let me talk about the build for a sec. Furnishing it so far, I do like the way that it came out. Um, I, what, usually once I furnish something, I'm like, okay. Like, it's, it's fine. I'm still not totally satisfied with the uh, floor plan of it. I definitely need to work on it a little bit, but I don't think it's horrible. I think it's just not an open floor plan. You know, like definitely not. Which actually y'all tell me in the comments below, do you like open floor plans or no? Because I used to think I was pro floor, or pro floor plan, pro open floor plan. But now I don't know. So I have an open floor plan now and my previous house didn't. And I think I'm somewhere in between now. And here's why. Open floor plans are super convenient. If you've got a lot of people in the house, it's just got, you've got more open space, right? If maybe if you have like kids, maybe my mind would change if I had kids, right? I don't know. However, I think that not open floor plans, like I guess more closed in ones are much more cozy they have much more of a cozy vibe. An open floor plan feel, it can feel a lot less cozy, depending on like what you got going on. Um, I think they can definitely still be cozy. I don't think it's like impossible or anything, but I think it's just a little harder. I think just like when you have a closed in space, it just feels like more of like a little warm hug. And so I feel like that's why, not for me at least. Um, so yeah, I feel like I'm sort of right in the middle now, which is interesting. Because before in my old house, I was like, I want an open floor plan so bad. Just cause it was like the fancy thing to have at the time. And now that I have it, I'm like, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. But I, I do sort of miss the, the cozy feel of it all. So I don't know, interesting. Maybe I'll just paint the walls darker or something. There's an idea that could work. And then it'll feel like it's a smaller space. That could work. Okay, so hold on. Let me talk about this kitchen for a second. This kitchen, She's really something. She's really something. <laughs> the shape of this kitchen. Listen, okay. 
Listen, I tried my best with my- My own shell defeated me, dude. It really defeated me. This kitchen's whack. Like, why- It's like the cabinets are, like, separated. I mean, I don't hate it or anything, but, like, it is definitely weird. Like, very unusual for me, at least. I like the wallpaper, though. Do you guys- <laughs> I never know how people feel about me and my wallpaper choices because I choose- like the craziest wallpapers I can find. I love a wallpaper. Like, I don't know, which is so weird because back in the day, I was the polar opposite. I was like, I want white walls like this everywhere, you know, or just like solid colored walls. Like I, that's what I would do in the Sims all the time. Just use like the same solid colored walls in different colors. But I have turned a new leaf, okay, because I got bored with that. I'm like a wallpaper girly all of a sudden. Like, look how cute that wallpaper is. Are you kidding? I would love to put something like that in here. Like, wouldn't that just be so cute? It'd be so charming. Also, this room is a little funky because the bed sort of sticks out past the wall. I know. I know it's sort of blocking the dresser. I know. I know. Okay. I'm not proud of it, but it happened. Okay. <laughs> I told you it was weird. I couldn't figure out another place for the bed. I gotta work on my floor plans, okay? Maybe my next shell should just like secretly be a floor plan that I found online. <laughs> That's cheating. That's cheating. I won't do that. I've actually never done that. I've actually always winged it. And yes, I did cover up that window with that because the space just fit too well. It just fits so good in there. Also that sink is like, it's the best sink. I will not be taking any feedback on that one. It is the best thing, but thank you. Thank you for listening. There you go. And then the last room, which is like the primary bedroom. It's so small. <laughs> it's so small. I could barely fit anything in here. Basically just the bed. I well, cause, Okay, I know you can put the beds up against the wall, but I hate to do it. I gotta be honest, I really hate to do it. Like I love like a double nightstand situation. If I can make that happen, I always will. Like, I just think that looks the best from like personally to me. I just feel like it'd be the most functional. Oh, threw in the mirror there. Did you see that? <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. The mirror has not entered the scene. We can't, we can't have that. We simply cannot have that. I love that mirror. Also, that's a TV. I forget what that came with. Was it an update? Was it a kit? I can't remember, but it's like one of those frame TVs. They're amazing, um, like in real life and in the game. Like they're so pretty and you can change the like art and stuff. It's so cool, I'm glad they put that in there, finally. Very nice. But anyways, here is the completed house. Okay, so if you walk through the front door, here's the little entryway. Here is the living room. If you ever see me put a desk in a Sims house, just know it's gonna have that heart chair. I just refuse to put anything else ever again, ever. Here is the bathroom. Very simple, very nice. I like the green in there. I like the green in here. I love that color green, gosh. I love that the stairs has like a perfect little indent for a table. I think that's really cute. Also, I did forget to put wallpaper on the ceiling and I'm so mad that I forgot. Like, hello, what a great feature that I'm not using. <laughs> Anyways, there's the kitchen. I didn't decorate it really at all, like the countertops, cause like, girl, like how, you're, how are you gonna use it if I decorate it? Anyways, going upstairs. Here is the upstairs. Glad I put in that mirror. I would have been sad without it. Yo, know, here is the primary bedroom. It's the last thing we saw, so it should be fresh in our noggins. I actually really love those lamps too. They're a little topsy-turvy, but I just think that the shape of them is like the best. I wish that they were more like that shape. They're perfect. Here is the kids room. It is weirdly shaped. I kind of like it. I think it's got a little bit of charm to it. I, the bed not going all the way against the wall is like, it does irk me a little bit. But anyways, here is the other bathroom. Oh, I forgot to delete the curtains behind. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay, my bad on the curtain front. I'll have to go back and uh, change that. <laughs> but that is gonna be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget if you want to try out the shelf for yourself, use hashtag VicShella5 on the gallery so I can see it and review it. Hope you're all having a wonderful day and I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.